Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a new vlog. I am... <laughs> I'm in the gold bedroom this morning for a few different reasons. Um, firstly... Um, <laughs> So do you remember in maybe like two weeks ago I, sh I showed you I was practicing I was seeing how it looked with the pink rug that used to be in the entrance hall I was seeing how that looked in my dressing room it didn't look right So I rolled it up and pushed it to the side and I was waiting for Charlie to um, carry it down with me well, I went to move it just now and I'm very sorry arachnophobic warm warning um there was the biggest garden spider someone called them crunchy spiders the other day you know the ones with the big bodies there was one of those and i could see all his big hairy legs sat behind it so i couldn't touch it um went to get something from the bathroom went back and the thing happened the only thing in the world that is worse than seeing a big hairy spider it's that when you see it and then suddenly you don't see it. So basically there's a big hairy spider running riot in my dressing room right now, um, which I'm hoping Charlie is going to sort. So that's the, that's the main reason. Second reason, the shower in our bathroom is broken. There's always something wrong in this house, always something broken. So we're actually showering in the gold room at the moment, which is fine, except for the fact that obviously the chaps are working in the kitchen garden, which is just there, and there are no blinds on these windows. So I just let the shower get really steamy so that the steam provides um, a little bit of modesty <laughs> and then I get in. Um, and third reason, it's nice and light in here. It's a gloomy, grey, rainy day, which I'm very, very sad about because we've had some gorgeous days lately, but I think it's going to get better. I'm hoping it's better for tomorrow especially because we have got a shoot day tomorrow and um, I really just need some like fresh Instagram content because I haven't really had anything to post lately. <laughs> So that's happening tomorrow. So ahead of that, I'm doing my tanning today. I'm going to be popping on my fake tan. I'm actually not completely tanless at the moment because I do have, I've got a bit of a routine, a little bit of a cycle and um, at this time of year especially, I tend to always have some tan on my body. But I thought, because I did notice a few questions in the last few vlogs about my tanning routine, about the products that I use, about my tips, etc. I thought I would go through that in detail this morning uh, while I do it myself. So actually what I'm going to do I, I have screenshot a few of the questions that I've seen in previous videos, but I'm also going to put out a super quick Instagram story um, for any additional questions that you guys might have. Okay, done. Right, so my um, my tanning routine, and to me tanning, it just it just makes me feel great. I feel that I look my healthiest when I have got a tan. Um, I feel more confident in most of my clothes. As you guys know, I like to wear a lot of whites, a lot of lights, and by just having this kind of continual tanning routine, I feel confident that I can pop on a dress, pop on a t-shirt, and just always feel really good about how I look. So that's why I like to keep it quite continual. So I would say that my tanning routine it's always on, um, but I have maybe a 10 day cycle. I have always loved and adored and used Vita Liberata, and it's a very long lasting tan, which is another one of the many reasons why I absolutely adore it. The main reason why I absolutely adore Vita Liberata is how it looks on me, on my skin. It's a natural product for a natural looking tan. I have been a Vita Liberata fangirl I literally think since it was invented. I think I've been talking about Vita Liberata and using Vita Liberata for that long. I used to save up my um, income when I was waitressing at a restaurant in ross on wye and then I would go and buy the phenomenal tan from Boots. I f did a full-on video on my tanning routine about five or six years ago here on my YouTube channel. If it's still doing the rounds, I'll leave it up on the screen here and link down below. Um, my full tanning routine, all of my tips, many of which I'll probably be repeating myself right now, but um, that whole video I was using Vita Liberata, I just adore them. I don't find the products uh, have that, that weird tan smell to them, which is another huge tip. 
and I just I just love how they look on my body. They recently underwent a rebrand, which is really, really exciting. I had a, a lovely overnight stay at the Mondrian with them a couple of weeks ago in London, which you guys might have seen. Um, so I'll show you some of the new look products as we go throughout the, um, the video. So basically my 10 day, uh, the whole video is not going to be about tanning, by the way. I've got a really lovely um, unboxing to share with you later, and then I'll probably continue vlogging tomorrow, so you'll see the shoot day. But we're starting with the tan. So my 10-day routine, uh, which keeps me just always glowing, always having a tan, begins... Right, let's say, let's say that you have um, a special event, or a shoot, or a wedding on Saturday. My prep albeit continual, would really start... Okay, sorry, I have to look at my diary here. Right, let's pretend that we've got a special event on the Saturday. Right, so I would therefore be applying the tan, part one, on the Thursday. So that means that the main bulk of my prep would take place on the Wednesday. <laughs> Hopefully you guys will find this useful. I've been tanning for many years now. I feel like I've got my routine down to a T. So the prep would be continual, be always on, but the main prep would be on the Wednesday. So in my Wednesday shower, I would do a full body, complete exfoliation, shaving, really nice, rich body lotion afterwards so that I'm free of dead skin cells, free of hair where I want to be, and thoroughly moisturised. So the number one thing about getting a great natural looking tan is all about the prep work. I think that everybody knows that. Every tanning expert will say that the number one thing for a great fake tan is great prep. So the things that you do on the Wednesday, for my timeline's sake, are really, really important for how your tan will look on the Saturday. So I am, for the sake of um, being as educational as possible, going to share with you a few product favourites. Let me just nip to the shower. <laughs> okay, so just like I do with my face, I do a double cleanse with my body as well, which may sound a little bit, o little bit over the top, but that's what I like to do. So first of all, exfoliating gloves. My favorites are the pink ones um, from Soap and Glory. They're a little bit soggy, they're dripping, so I'm gonna place them down there. Exfoliating gloves I actually use every single time that I shower with any old body wash, it doesn't really matter. Um, oh, actually it does. After you've done your tan, you don't want a body wash which has got AHA, BHA or glycolic acid in it because that'll break down the tan. That's, that's coming. So, the Wednesday shower. First of all, full body exfoliation with a body wash using exfoliating gloves. That is step one and I'll usually do that while my purple shampoo is toning my hair because I leave my purple shampoo in for a few minutes. We've rinsed, the shampoo is out, and now my conditioner is in my hair. Probably a mask, right? Because this is the big pampering shower. Um, and I've, I've just shaved as well. Next, it is uh, Cleanse and Exfoliate Part 2. Ooh, also dribbling on me. This is my favourite, but there are many different things you could use. It's a body wash or a very gentle body scrub, not with... Um, granules that are too big because that's just abrasive. The whole point here is that we're creating a smooth canvas. We want our skin to be free of dryness and patchiness and literally a smooth blank canvas for the tan to work its magic on. So this is from Zit Sticker and it's the AHA BHA Multi Exfoliant Fizz Fountain Body Scrub. The scrub particles I believe are pumice grains and bamboo powder. Really, really fine, so you do get that gentle but thorough exfoliation. But more importantly, lactic and glycolic acid to, is it slough or slough? Slough away, slough, slough away dead skin cells? Slough, <laughs> slough away dead skin cells. Um, ooh, and niacinamide joins the party to diffuse the appearance of redness and irritation. I actually hadn't read that bit before. So this, after the manual exfoliation of the gloves, is that second, ultra um, thorough level of exfoliation for the body, getting rid of all the dead skin cells and, as I've said, getting your body primed and a smooth canvas ready for the tan. And I will do the same on my face. I'll probably use the Beauty Pie Fruity Zyme um, face mask, again with the AHAs and BHAs. And I use, um, I use gentle exfoliating products every single day on my face. So, we're out the shower. Hair is probably up in a towel, and remember it's still Wednesday, this is the pampering exfoliating shower, the prep shower. You would, you need your body to be uh, smooth, hair free if that's your 
preference um, and moisturized because dry skin and fake tan are worst enemies. So next you want to take your most wonderful pamper sumptuous body cream. My current favorite is the Super Healthy Skin Deluxe Deluxe Body Moisture Cream with Softening Hibiscus Flower and Nourishing Shea Butter from Beauty Pie. This is absolutely gorgeous, but any lovely, thick, super hydrating body lotion is your best friend. Cover yourself in it. Absolutely absorb all the moisture that you possibly can because we are prepping and priming the body for tanning tomorrow. Okay, so that's Wednesday. <laughs> I've been talking about tan for 11 minutes already. But I really hope you guys find this useful. I feel like it's a good time of year to start talking about tan. And as I've said, I've been doing it for a long time, so I feel like I've got this routine down to a T. Okay, that's Wednesday. Thursday, tanning day. So, something to consider is that body lotions act as a barrier. So you won't tan as well, um, as evenly if you have got a barrier on your skin. Oil is a humongous barrier. Uh, so I would actually avoid using body washes with an oil full stop if you have got a good tanning routine going. But you don't wanna have any of this on your skin the day that you're tanning. So the morning of the tan, and this is where I am right now in my routine, you want to go and have another shower. You don't have to wash your hair, whatever you want to do. You can use your exfoliating gloves. I do every time that I shower. But when you get out of the shower, put nothing on your skin, blank canvas. You're already exfoliated. You're already shaved from yesterday's shower. Today, nothing. Put nothing on your skin. You want to be pure, you want to be clean, and you want to have no barriers for the tan on your skin. Perfect blank canvas, okay. <laughs> so it's Thursday. The reason we're doing this on Thursday is because I personally find that my tan looks its best when I have got two layers of tan. So what I'm doing today, I will also do tomorrow, Friday, if your event is on the Saturday. Right, now we're actually finally gonna talk about the tan. Let's have a look at the questions, by the way. Let's see if any have come in yet. How do you stop your tan transferring onto your clothes? Okay, I'll mention that. Biggest mistake people make while tanning. Yeah, literally not spending enough time prepping. Also, if you prep well, it, me it, mean it means your tan will fade more evenly and it'll last longer, as well as just looking great when you first apply it. Okay, a lot of these are what I'm about to talk about, so um, I'll go through the questions at the end and hopefully I will have already covered everything, but then I can like fill in the gaps. Right, so tanning product. <laughs> My stash. Okay, tanning products. So as I've mentioned, the brand that is my forever go-to is Vita Liberata. Vita Liberata use natural, organic, lovely ingredients that give you the most gorgeous, natural looking tan. I really care about the ingredients that I put on my skin. I don't want to be covering my skin in chemicals. Um, I want my products to be paraben free, sulfate free, not tested on animals, and Vita Liberata ticks all of those boxes for me and gives me the most incredible tan. So this is the new branding. Sorry, that bottle is um, almost empty. This one's probably a better shape. So we have got this very clean, minimal bottle with the turquoises, the golds, the bronze. It looks really, really sleek, very professional looking as well, and I absolutely love it. My most used product is the uh, tanning mousse. The tinted tanning mousse in medium is my BFF, and this is what I will mostly use all over my body. But that is not all. I have a selection of other bits and bobs which uh, complement my tanning routine. So I'll quickly go through those. Uh, Vita Liberata, this is the fabulous gran granule. <laughs> gradual tanning lotion, untinted. I apply this from, okay, we're still gonna stick with the same timeline, so say I've done my main tanning on the Saturday. From about the Wednesday, I will start to use this, and this will just maintain the color. I'll take this with me on holiday. Uh, throughout the winter months, when I'm not getting um, my skin out quite so much, I'll just continually use this, so that I always have a really lovely soft natural color. As you might be able to guess from the name, it's a gradual tan, so you can apply more if you want a deeper looking tan, or just maybe apply it once a week if you just want that very subtle hint of color. Again, no awful smell. In fact, it's got a really lovely kind of coconutty smell. It's got aloe vera, it's got, uh, is it coconut? Ooh, pomegranate juice extract, melon, witch hazel leaf extract, cucumber leaf extract. 
just the loveliest ingredients. It's also, I believe, got hyaluronic, yes, it's got hyaluronic acid in there as well. So ultra hydrating, it is, it can be the only body lotion that you use because it's so lovely and hydrating, but you get the benefits of the tan as well. So this is a fantastic one. Also for those that maybe um, are brand new to tanning and just wanna have a very easy way in. It's an easy, it's an easy introduction to tanning. Also, I remember um, my mum, would buy me gradual tan when I was younger and I was so desperate to start fake tanning. She bought me a gradual tan instead of letting me go whole hog on actual fake tanning. So if um, you've got a younger sister or a daughter that wants to just start experimenting with a tan, then a gradual tan is also a great place to start. So two best friends, love them. Face. Face tanning is something which you do have to maintain a little bit more. Now this and this is my dream combo. This is the Vita Liberata Tanning Anti-Age Face Serum. It's got anti-aging ingredients in it as well, um, but because I mix this with my usual morning and evening serum, I actually only normally do this bit at night though, by the way, um, you get all the benefits of your normal serum, plus the benefits of getting a gorgeous natural color on your face with the Vita Liberata Face Serum. I believe you can actually use this by itself, but because I use it regularly, um, I find that my tan on my face looks more natural if I just kind of keep it up. So I'm gonna do this right now. So my usual morning and evening serum, I'm not planning on putting makeup on for the rest of the day. If I was, it wouldn't really affect it, but I just like to do this when I'm not gonna be putting makeup on. So two drops of my normal serum. This is Le Serum from Clay de Peau. It is a favorite of mine for mixing with tan drops, especially because it's a really light watery consistency, which means it mixes really well with tanning drops. Very easy to use pipettes. I am pasting or dropping that straight into the middle of the serum, mixing it together and applying it like normal. A little bit pink from the um, action of adding that. So something to consider, obviously this is going to add a tan to your face. So while it's gradual, you don't need to stress, don't stress about this, but at the same time, do make sure that you are rubbing it in on the edges. You don't want to, your tan to suddenly end on your jaw because that could look very peculiar. So make sure you really focus on taking it down your neck, really blend it in, take it all over your decolletage, decolletage, de decollet? this area, take it all the way down there, um, take it, like here so i like to take it over my brow bone and then really into into your hairline as well over towards your ears one single application is going to be a very subtle hint of color so don't stress too much about it but when you're applying it every day these are good habits to get into so that you have got a natural looking tan second most important thing go and wash your hands immediately afterwards back again thorough hand wash literally like two pumps of hand soap really get it bubbly get between your fingers um get the wrists as well and then dry your hands <laughs> i feel like i feel like boris johnson or 2020 but yeah do wash your hands thoroughly because the whole point of a natural looking tan is we don't want to have any of those telltale signs it's a really lovely serum in itself gives you that beautiful glow it's got the anti-aging ingredients it's actually made with organic glycerin which is a really fantastic anti-aging product so instantly upon applying this you get that plumped glowy, juicy kind of appearance to your skin. And then over time, it's gonna help with those little fine lines and wrinkles as well, but also working with your existing face serum. So you get you get to continue with the benefits that um, your normal skincare routine gives you. Right, the body. So my favorite is the tanning mousse, uh, the tinted tanning mousse, because I do like to see where I'm tanning in the shade medium in the summer. When um, I have got a bit more of a natural tan, I will move on to the dark shade. And that is, it's quite dark, <laughs> but um, really lovely natural color. Again, you've got the organic uh, natural glycerin, you've got aloe vera, again, the cucumber. So just really lovely organic natural ingredients to give you that natural looking tan. And I like to apply mine from the I say from the bottom up, but actually not the feet, from the shins 
up to my shoulders, starting at the bottom and working my way up. I like to use a mitt. I think this is Vita Liberata. I'm sure this is, <laughs> yeah, this is a Vita Liberata mitt. Vita Liberata have been very conscious of reducing the amount of plastic in their products. So the pump is gone. The pump that we are all used to is now gone, uh, making this bottle more easily Oh, I'm sorry, they are now going to be rotivating the lawn. So we've got a background track. Background noise, sorry about that. Um, yes, removing the pump makes this more recyclable, but actually it doesn't affect the product at all because by some magic, it still foams on the mitt. Again, I'm just checking the website because I don't want to get my facts wrong. SLS free, fragrance free, paraben free, cruelty free, sulfate free, alcohol free, hydrocortisone free, phthalate free vegan and bht free and i get this from look fantastic i'll leave all of these products linked down below a golden natural looking color lightweight quick absorbing tan dries and fades evenly yep all of this is absolutely correct um, a tinted guide to help everyone from a novice to pro tanners with application enriched with a range of botanicals such as aloe vera and hyaluronic acid in here as well so the tanning mousse supports hydration, leaving the skin feeling silky soft. Yes, it does. It really, really does. And um, now I know why, because of all of those amazing ingredients. As I mentioned, um, I am not completely tan free at the moment because I live in a continual tanning cycle, but I will pop on an outfit which does enable me to show you a little bit of tanning in action. But the before and after might not be as dramatic as if I was going from completely untanned skin because this is... This is 10 day old tan and it's still a gorgeous glow. Okay, I'm back. I'm feeling a little bit like Jungle Jane in this outfit. A couple more things um, to consider before puffing on your tan. First of all, take off your jewelry. I had a few questions um, about this stunning necklace, by the way. It is actually from Omega. And yes, it is very up there when it comes to uh, premium jewelry but for me it's it's kind of the equivalent of the van cleef necklace but not everybody has it which is why i love it uh, i do not have any earrings in tie your hair back this color on my chest is actually um real tan even though i was wearing factor 50 actually no that's a lie i was wearing factor 30 at the weekend still managed to get a little bit of um a tan. I think I will very quickly, I'm conscious that this is going to be a huge amount of tanning chat, um, I'll talk about tanning on holiday when I've got my tan on. So hair is up. One final thing is to protect those dry areas. So we do not want tan to be collecting, which it could do if you have dry skin in certain areas. So taking my body lotion, super healthy skin uh, from Beauty Pie, Maybe Vita Liberata have got something that you can use. Very, very tiny amount. I'm popping this between my fingers and I'm gonna start by putting this on my ankles um, or like the bit, the very, the heel of my foot. And this will just act as a barrier and stop the tan clinging to those areas. Only the tiniest amount. Uh, and then same again, just a little tiny bit, wrists, and elbows. This cut is from when we went to Master Chevron with our friends Ali and Lydia last October and I cut myself on some barbed wire on the day that we saw the horses and it's still scarring me. We are prepped and ready to go. <laughs> Final little note, I have a supply of these black thongs from H&M and um, that is what I wear after popping on my tan. I usually am obviously butt naked when I'm tanning, but that's what I'll pop on afterwards. Um, or if I'm going to get a Vita Liberata spray tan. Right. I do normally like to do this in front of a mirror. Never mind. So technique wise, mousse into the mitt, don't know why I did that with my left hand, placing that on the shin, dragging it up to the thigh and then starting to spread that about. 
So you'll notice that I didn't actually go down to the foot yet on either leg because now what I'm going to do is what I've got left on the mitt after doing both legs, that is what I'm going to take down and do the top of my foot and then the sides. And don't worry, remember it is protected with that barrier cream. And then again on the arms, I'm not actually starting on the hand. Focusing on the upper arms. Obviously with the guide colour, you can just about see where you've been. And this will develop over the next eight hours. No deodorant as well, that's something else. Make sure you don't put deodorant on on your Thursday morning shower or the shower just before you tan. And then when most of the tan is gone from your mitt, spinning my engagement ring round, just taking whatever's left on the mitt over my hand. Some people like to use a kabuki brush. I can't be bothered. <laughs> and position your hand like you're holding a grapefruit and then run over your knuckles as well. Okay, we're back and we have got a light layer of fake tan now all over the body. Um, I'm gonna go upstairs and uh, do it properly, <laughs> aka butt naked in a second. But hopefully that's shown you a little bit of my kind of tanning routine. Obviously with that subtle guide color, you can see where you've been and this is now going to develop into the most gorgeous natural golden tan over the next, I would say, eight hours. I'll go to sleep looking like a golden goddess, basically. And that was the tinted um, tanning mousse in medium that I've applied. For me, just the perfect, always on summer natural looking tan. And I promise you, I do not smell, which is a huge perk. How can I stop my tan transferring onto my clothes? Okay, so first of all, give yourself a little bit of time after your tanning. I would normally um, like tidy up my dressing room naked or just kind of like float around the house wearing really lightweight clothing such as my dark green robe for a good hour or so after my tan. I know we don't all have the luxury of that time, um, but I would say, don't, I mean, don't go and put on a really tight white outfit straight after putting on a tinted tanning lotion because that's just, <laughs> it's just not very sensible. However, something else in my Vita collection, do I have the untinted? So Vita also have what's called the Heavenly Tanning Elixir, but they also do um, the mousse in an untinted version, but also the tanning elixir. It's basically, basically like a body lotion. It comes out just like a white body lotion, untinted, and you could get dressed if you're going straight to work or straight to an event, you could get dressed straight away after popping those on, and that's never going to transfer onto your clothes. So using a tan without a guide colour or an untinted tan would be my first tip and my second tip this is why I start my tanning two days before the special event because by then you've had a couple of showers and your tan looks really gorgeous and natural but nothing's gonna get on your outfit for the special event so tanning in advance and no guide colour tans would be my top tips for uh, not getting any staining on your clothing best way to make my tan last longer. That would be um, my tips on using the gradual tan and also the moisturization. That's really, 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 really important. So with that in mind, super quick tips for tanning when you go on holiday. Remember that oil, sorry, this angle. Remember that oil will break down a tan, so you do want to avoid an SPF, which is oil-based. You want to use a cream-based one. One of my favorites being the uh, Caudalie, Vino, is it Vino Perfect? I'll pop a picture of it up on the screen here and link down below. That's my favorite tan to use on holiday. Again, lovely natural organic ingredients and um, doesn't have any ingredients within it that break down my tan. It does instead have just really lovely hydrating ingredients because it's all about keeping the skin hydrated to have that natural looking tan, especially while you're on holiday. Don't be afraid to top up your tan, your fake tan while you are on holiday. Sometimes I'll take this with me. Sometimes I will just take the gradual, it depends where I'm going and how long for. Also worth considering that uh, chlorine in swimming pools could lead to um, a quicker breakdown of your tan. So I actually tend to avoid swimming pools unless they're fresh water, which sounds very bougie of me. Um, I just prefer going in the sea, but yeah, chlorine in swimming pools could affect your tan. But yeah, the main thing when you're on holiday, just keep, keep yourself moisturized. And remember that fake tan does not protect you from the sun at all. So you still absolutely need to wear your SPF and um, stay in the shade.
What is the best tan for a darker skin tone? Well, the thing to remember is that all of these tans are tonal, so it will add more colour to your skin, no matter your skin colour to start with. Vita have got um, light, medium and dark tans, so if you do have darker skin, then I would recommend getting the darkest, and it's still going to deepen your skin colour, no matter your skin colour to begin with. Something else to consider is the Vita Liberata body blurs. I know a lot of friends of mine that do have darker skin than I, they say that the tanning products for them are not just about getting that deeper colour, but also that glow and that really lovely even finish that you do get with a fake tan. This is just that even flawless finish times a million. You guys will have seen two vlogs ago, I popped this on for my evening event with the wedding edition, I was wearing the gorgeous dress with the puff sleeves, um, and I hadn't tanned my chest or my arms, but I still wanted to have that flawless finish, so I used the Vita Liberata Body Blur. This is essentially it's essentially body makeup, it just gives you the most perfect finish. It's a really easy to apply cream. Um, I like to apply it with the tanning mitt just to get that super flawless complexion and no matter your skin colour, you can use the Vita Dorata Body Blur and again comes in medium and dark. And by the way, if you do want your tan to look deeper, then add another layer. You can build on your tan, so that's another reason why I'll be adding another layer of this tomorrow, just to get that deep looking tan, even though I'm only using the medium product. So if you want a super, super deep tan, then you could use the dark product, and two layers of that is gonna give you the deepest glow. How to stop my tan from going patchy? Well, I think, um, again, it's all about the prep, the exfoliation, and the moisturizer, moisturizing um, your skin afterwards. Everything that I've already said so far is gonna stop it going patchy, but also the way that you apply it with the mitt just being really conscious that you're getting all the different areas using the lotions as a barrier when you first apply your tan and then if you are concerned about it getting patchy in certain areas you could always go in with a kabuki brush a fairly like densely packed brush and blend it out something else which i've actually got with me here in my bag of products to talk you about with my tan talk to you about with my tanning routine are the retinol resurfacing pads from Rodial. So these are part of my emergency kit. If I did have a tan that, say on my feet for example, my feet is where I do sometimes stumble. Sometimes on my hands if I'm really rushing or not taking good enough care of my hands, if they get really dry when I've been gardening for example. These are a great SOS product. They are retinol resurfacing facial pads but because they are resurfacing they're also really great at removing tan something that you want to consider if you are using that kind of product on your face but you can use those pads on your feet on your hands if you do have a tanning disaster and it should get rid of any patchy tan can you use the same fake tan self tan on your body and your face yeah i mean the ingredients are the ingredients are so lovely in all of the products, you definitely could. I just have my favourites and do personally use different things for the face and the body. Anyway, I've been talking about tan for a very long time. I've actually had to reset my camera three times, so this has been a mega tan chat. I do feel like I've shared all of my tanning knowledge with you. I think you will have guessed by now that I'm obsessed, in love with Vita Liberata. Couldn't recommend the products any more highly. I will leave a link to all of these down below. Do check it out. If you have got any more tanning questions, then I'd love to answer them. Um, so just let me know in the description box or the comment section down below. Now, it's half past one and I'm craving macaroni cheese. So I'm just gonna go and finish my tan nude upstairs. Hopefully by the sounds of it, Charlie has removed the spider. Um, and then let's make some lunch. Okay, my darlings, it's a few hours later. It's about four hours since I applied my tan. So I thought I would come and give you a little update. This, to be honest, I think it'll only get like the tiniest little bit darker now. And this for me is the perfect, for me this is 
the level of tan that I feel suits my skin tone. Um, it's just a really lovely golden natural tan and I feel like it's super flattering. It just looks really lovely and healthy. It doesn't look like fake tan. So yeah, this is the tan after a few hours. To be honest, I could wash it off now if I wanted to, but equally I could fall asleep and let it continue developing. It wouldn't get super, super dark even if I slept in it, but yeah. I think it's gone a really lovely colour. Okay, hello again, darlings. Another half, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Another half an hour later and starting to look seriously bronzed. I did decide to put some makeup on because I want to do a little try on for you. I'm hoping um, that in the next hour or so, let's actually have a quick look. I might have a an email from Every, which is um, uh, Hermes now, saying that my H&M order has been delivered. But in the meantime, yesterday I placed I placed a River Island order. So I'm going to go through these bits with you now as well. I signed up a while ago to the year's worth of next day delivery from River Island. And it's very, very helpful. So I think I've just got three or four bits in here. So first of all, we have this pair of shoes. Now, if you've watched um, a few of my last videos where I've done Netta Porter hauls, um, you will know that I have recently added a new pair of Valentino rock studs to my collection. I also recently sent back another pair of <laughs> Valentino rock studs. Case in point being that it is a design that I absolutely love. I saw these on River Island. Um, obviously, a bit of a dupe for the rock studs. They have got a chunky block heel, they have got the studs. In order to get away with it legally, there has to be eight points of difference between the dupe and the designer version. And there definitely are with these. Um, I mean, the design is actually quite different. It's just the studs that make it look very Valentino-esque. I also think they just look like they're going to be very comfortable. They've got a super uh, squishy cushioned sole here. 48 pounds, which I thought was pretty good, and then a chunky block heel. So I actually think they could be really comfy and go with a lot of different things. Next is this really pretty white dress. It's kind of that cheesecloth um, style fabric, which I really like. It's got some beautiful floral, em fl I can't really talk today, floral <laughs> embroidery detail. And I think the silhouette looks very wearable. It really is just a nice, affordable, everyday dress. Uh, the kind of thing that I do reach for very often. So let's give this a try. Well, this really is absolutely gorgeous. I'm afraid I did not uh, steam it yet, but really lovely fabric. It's got a very elasticated smocked band around um, the rib cage, making it incredibly comfortable. Really pretty little frill detail down here. I love the embroidery detail. I kind of wish they'd gone for slightly more pastel-y colors. It's very like primary colors, um, but still very, very pretty. The length is really lovely as well. I can't get over how comfortable it is. It's just one of those super comfy dresses that I know that I'll wear a lot around the house. But then the real winner, well, the dress is a winner too, but another huge winner, sorry, camera on the wonk, is the shoes because they are so comfortable and I think they look, hopefully you can see them, I think they look absolutely fabulous. <laughs> Sorry, that was probably my worst camera work in the whole world. Um, but yeah, the shoes are an absolute winner. The dress is a winner, so it's a good start. So it turns out I only bought three things <laughs> from River Island. I thought I had a little bit more to share with you. Um, but the other is this dress here, and this is the pinky purple version of the green dress that I bought um, about a month ago, maybe, maybe more. Uh, I've worn that one a couple of times since then, and I thought these colors were really, really fun, really great with my current uh, tan as well. So, Let's give it a try. And this dress is also an absolute winner. I love the colours of this, really beautiful kind of sunset tones. Definitely one for any upcoming holidays. We don't have any booked, but I've said to Charlie, can he just keep like a few blocks of days free every now and then? And if we have a patch of really rainy weather here in the UK, I'm willing to just pack a bag and go. <laughs> That is how desperate I am for a little bit of travel at the moment. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one that would come in a suitcase with me. Won't crease or crinkle. I haven't even had to steam it. 
not so much the top, I can't put my finger on it, but something about the top is a little bit more um, of a giveaway that it's from the high street, but the skirt, the fabric, the pattern, the way that it hangs could so easily be a Zimmerman. It would look so nice if you wore a little jumper over the top. If you are going on a UK staycation and uh, you need to put something on over the top of your dress in the evening while you have your cocktail on the beach or something, I'm really fantasizing about to travel. Again, with the Valentino-esque studded shoes, looks absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm gonna shoot this outfit with Kat tomorrow. It really is lovely. And then I have finished the look with um, the belt that I unboxed in Thursday's video, the Zimmerman. I've got it on the tightest setting and it is literally <laughs> cutting me in half after that macaroni cheese, which is very funny because when I tried it on Thursday's video, I thought it was too big for me. <laughs> that is definitely not the case, but I have to say when I'm trying things on, I always feel like a lovely tan. It makes all of my outfits typical. The sun goes behind a cloud, giving me very cold lighting, but I always feel my best uh, trying on outfits when I have got a little bit of a tan, and this color just looks so natural, so gorgeous. It's just starting to cloud over now. It was a really lovely sunny afternoon. Charlie's been doing a little bit of watering, even though it did rain this morning. Unfortunately, my H&M order has still not arrived, but something else very exciting did arrive. These have come from the wonderful Lucy Claire, Lucy Claire illustration. Lucy actually messaged me on Instagram and I think it was, um, I think it was this sketch that she did first and I loved it so much that I asked if she could do one for straw top um, and a few others which I have then, which I've then got as little note cards and I just think they are so gorgeous. Potentially we might leave these for our guests at straw top cottage so they can send a little postcard home i mean how gorgeous is that a little sketch of the cottage and then this of course is our door she captured it from one of the photos that i took just before christmas with the wreath on the door look at these time and then this one of course is the other side of the house oh, wow. aren't they beautiful so she's done straw top. Oh, wow, these and, are awesome. And Dixie the and one. Dickie. Oh, yeah. So we now have a gorgeous wow. selection. Oh, here comes the sun. We now have a gorgeous selection of cards, which we can use as little thank you notes. What's this, something special for the Jubilee? Wow. That's so sweet. She's so talented, isn't she? So if we invite some friends over for the Jubilee, we can use these as little decorations. Gosh, 1952 to 2022. How incredible is that? Lots of British uh, memorabilia on there. The queen with her corgis. That's so cute. Do you send happy jubilee cards? Oh, that's so lovely. That's awesome. What gorgeous pieces. So, excuse me, send sir. send that to the queen, actually. <laughs> yeah, Lucy, if you Seriously, haven't done that already, send, send one to the queen. I know the address. <laughs> Windsor, uh, Big Liz at Windsor Castle. <laughs> we could literally drop it off for her. We're yeah, probably going to go to Windsor before then, aren't we? Um, but yes, I'll leave Lucy in the description box down below if anyone has any uh, illustration needs. She's absolutely lovely and very, very talented. So thank you, Lucy, for all of these gorgeous pieces. I can't wait to send little notes to our family and friends. So a very quick garden update. Gosh, how many times have I said that in recent videos? Uh, we now have three stepping stones here. They replaced the two because it was a little bit awkward stepping on two. It, you kind of had to like leap across them um, and these fit a lot better. So I think it was uh, Neil popped those in for us. And then very excitingly, we are starting to get some signs of purple coming through the herbaceous border. I think this is a uh, cat mint, I'm not sure, could be a salvia, can't quite remember. And then over here, some of the alliums starting to come out and very excitingly, the first signs of lupins. These are just going to be spectacular. It's always so dramatic when the lupins come out and they last so long. Euphorbia is just absolutely ginormous. Uh, the grasses are doing well, some salvia over there starting to show some signs of purple. 
And then down here, the alliums are really looking at their absolute best. I think it was such a great, such a great thing to pop them in to this border. I think they're so striking with the shape and the height that they bring. Um, so none of them are fully out just yet, but you can really see the process that they go through and it won't be long until they are the centerpieces of the herbaceous border. The Nicholson's chaps today have been rotivating the lawn, as I think you heard earlier. So either side here, this is all going to be uh, turfed so that it matches in with the lawn. And uh, this is going to be herbaceous border. A lot of similar plants to this herbaceous border for continuity. Oh, the wisteria is looking magical as well. Um, but a few different ones as well. The pathway, just looking incredible. And then uh, this area is going to be turfed. They flattened it all out. It was obviously just a real dumping area for their works before. And this little area by our side gate is actually going to be cobbled eventually. But I think they're going to do that as one of the very last things. So later on in the week. How are my salad leaves doing? Wow, my pak choy is doing very well. That's very happy. It does seem to be growing, the salad, but nowhere near as quickly as last year. But maybe I'm being very impatient because I think I perhaps only put these in about five days ago. <laughs> so I definitely need to give them more time. We ordered some more of these cages from the Burford Garden Company. Although annoyingly, it looks like they've sent us not so rusty ones. So for example, these oh, these two here are the ones which I purchased from Burford Garden Centre. Um, and then these three are the new ones online. But I'm hoping a few little rain showers and they should start to rust up very quickly. And that's it. That's everything that's new. It's all looking rather lovely. The wildflower is ginormous nearly as tall as the little trees the electrics are all in down here ready for the little lights it's looking good <laughs> is that it is it tyrols or kettle chips because if it's sainsbury's own brand i won't eat it i don't eat anything from walkers i only eat no i won't eat it daddy you are so posh i won't eat it daddy i don't like smoky I still bacon love walkers, don't you I actually don't. This is a very rare... Is this Walkers? Tea. No, these are completely different brand. I don't know what they're called. Mm. Anyway. Right. Uh, so we've heard that uh, Flight Attendant 2 is coming out soon and Charlie and I, shock horror, have not seen Flight Attendant 1. I'm so also shock horror. Yeah. I've only recently discovered, and I can do it in our car as well. Mm. Like Obviously I've always known you can go, call mum or whatever, but you can obviously speak to the car to You get didn't to know that song. you can do it on the remote. Well, I did, but I don't use it enough. You're a plonker. Flight attendant. A flight attendant's life get turn, gets what? turned upside down after she wakes up in a host hotel room with a dead man, but with no memory of what happened. Oh my gosh, this sounds amazing. Oh, it's a series. Alice Good. Alice Haley, um, I never know how to say her surname, is it? Coco? 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 Coco. I'm trying to think what else she's been in. Comedy. I don't know. Let's watch it. Good morning, my darlings. I am just about to head out to meet Kat to take some photos, and I thought I would show you the current state of my Defender car wardrobe. <laughs> Charlie's taken the new Defender for his personal training session so I'm taking this one and safety wise not ideal I'm not going to be able to take photos anywhere away from the car because obviously anyone could just literally lean their hands in and um, help themselves to my lovely goodies I've got everything from my new Loewe bag in the back of here a trug just in case I see some nice blooms my hats my steamline suitcase and um seeing as we've got the roof up and it's a glorious day so it's perfect having the roof rolled up but yeah not not the safest I might just grab a towel to throw over the top of everything just in case and then on the side here we have got my wardrobe section the top of the canvas acting as my rail 
So I came to meet Kat here at Dalesford and a very fortuitous event has occurred. We were just taking some snaps out by the cafe and the lovely ladies in the Bamford store showed me some of the beautiful new collections. Uh, so Bamford have collaborated with Martha Ward and the collection of dresses that they have got here is quite possibly my dream dress collection. We've just shot some, some photos in this beautiful pink dress here. Look at the detail on the shoulders so lovely and now I've popped on this beautiful like a Sicilian lemon colour jumpsuit in this beautiful I think it's a gorgeous lightweight linen material I've added my usual Zimmerman belt um, we've just pinched a Leoub bag as well and uh, we're just taking some snaps in here because it's so beautiful look at this gorgeous floral display what have you spotted darling? <laughs> Baby clothes, let's see. Baby clothes are always so much cuter, aren't they? Oh, <gasps> little sheep. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. And little <laughs> elephants. Just such a gorgeous collection. Look at this linen dress with the pleats. This color palette is very, very pleasing to my eye. And look at Kat's fabulous wow. jacket. Where's your outfit of the day from, darling? This is Zara. Zara? Zara. Wow. Every time I wear it, someone comments it. You could have told me a market in deepest, darkest Marrakesh yeah. and I'd have been like, fabulous. My sheep grandma. Jacket. I love it. We're <laughs> all about the chic grandma style. And another tablescape of dreams here in the store. And the most beautiful floral display. They've got some gorgeous, I think these are, actually, do you know what? I don't know what these are. They look like clematis flowers, but on a foxglove kind of structure. Stunning. Okay, let's get some snaps. <laughs> Cottage. Ooh, Behind the scenes. Right. Yay. <laughs> Now we have made it to the beautiful, beautiful Cornwell Manor. Um, it's just the most stunning place and they so kindly allow us to come and get snaps in the gardens. The gardens here, it's such a shame that it's not open to the public as part of a gardening scheme or something because the gardens at this house are sensational, but we'll try to show you as much of them as possible. I was actually just speaking to one of the gardeners asking what this beautiful yellow flower is and it's actually a type of rose, but I've never seen a, a rose with such a gorgeous soft lemony colour but apparently it only flowers for a very very short burst and it's flowered a little bit earlier this year because of when they pruned it and unfortunately there are no weddings here until June so it will be over by then which is a huge shame but on this side we've got some wisteria growing up both white and purple varieties which they're trying to entwine and this shows how much I've changed since living in London because the thing that impresses me most about this wall is the gutter and the drain pipe that is a really beautiful drain pipe we've been trying to find drain pipes like that at our house um that looks like it's probably cast iron they cost an absolute fortune but um they look fabulous on period properties but yeah the house is just gorgeous we've been getting some snaps here in the garden cat is looking dazzling in my charleston hat it suits you it really suits you it does i love it you do look like a hidden paparazzi <laughs> Oh my goodness. And I've just popped on this little Rixo dress. Um, so we're going to get a few snaps with the gorgeous yellow roses in the background. successful shoot. We probably shot about 15, maybe 12 different outfits here at Cornwell and a couple of reels as well. They'll be coming to my Instagram very, very soon. But for now, I've got Kat behind me. We're going to drive in convoy back home because we've got a little bit of um, actual work stuff to shoot when we get home. But the fun bits are done. We've got lots of Instagram content. The sun was shining. Um, so yes, it's been a very productive morning. There are always many pit stops on the way home at this time of year and this field is completely blooming with rapeseed on both sides so 
going to get a couple of little snaps in here and then we actually will be homeward bound. Hello again my darlings, back home after a very successful, very long shoot day. I think we got more outfit shots today than I have done in any other shoot day in the past, so it was a great success. I'm very conscious that at the beginning of this video I did mention an H&M haul, or I think I just said I had an exciting unboxing. Spoiler alert, <laughs> it's an H&M order. Um, so I thought, although this vlog is probably very long, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do the world's quickest H&M uh, try on for you to finish off today's vlog. I was editing my last vlog where I had the Netta Porter pieces and I spoke for like three to five minutes about every single outfit. So I'm gonna try and cut that down massively um, and do like 30 seconds on each item. So, let, and everything as always will be linked um, in the description box down below. So let's get started. This is the first item. My delivery arrived today. This is a really lovely shirt dress, really lightweight cotton material with this gorgeous flower pattern on it. It's a pattern that H&M have got um, on a lot of their things at the moment. And then lengthwise, it is uh, kind of mid shin level. I've got it on with the Aquazura shoes. I love the fabric, I love the silhouette, it's quite nice that you can smarten yourself up by buttoning it all the way or you can undo a few buttons and just have it nice and loose, a really lovely summer everyday dress, great for me for gardening and pottering about the house. Well, I thought this was a little bit different for H&M. It very much feels like a garden party style dress. Great when you have got a wonderful layer of self-tan on. I love the pattern on this. It's kind of like, it's like if Monet did a wildflower, <laughs> okay, maybe Monet and H&M. <laughs> Not quite, but that's the vibe I'm getting. Uh, really lovely maxi length and I have added unsurprisingly, the Zimmerman belt, which you'll probably see me adding to most of my outfits throughout the summer. However, it's really not quite the same, um, but if you did want something similar at a fraction of the price, I did also add this H&M one to my basket. I mean, you get similar vibes, not quite the same, but um, still getting that kind of wicker and that cinching you in around the waist effect. Love the fact that this is halter neck, really nice lightweight fabric. Um, again, a great one to just throw in a bag for holidays. And I'm styling all of these pieces just with the Aquazura shoes that I showed you in my Nest Porter haul in the last video. Um, so yeah, re this is definitely, definitely a keeper. Really easy to wear summer special event dress. And if you are looking um, for a high street wedding guest dress, then I think this is a fabulous option. Okay, this next piece, I have a feeling a lot of you are going to absolutely love. I knew it was an instant enter basket as soon as I saw it on the website. This is the uh, raw linen version of my white cotton uh, shirt dress, which I feature many, many, many times on my Instagram, both here in the UK. You might remember this photo from um, the Hay Bell Field. I also wore the white shirt dress over my bikini in Ibiza on boat day, it comes with me on every holiday, it's one of those things that I love to just throw on and now, and, and that one's from H&M, uh, and it's back in stock so I will leave the white version linked down below too, but this is the linen version and I absolutely love it. So a little close up um, of the material, literally like raw linen, <laughs> um, as you might be able to guess. Look how great the tan is looking. Oh, really, really happy with the tan. Um, so you have got this little bow tie detail around the waist. No pockets. I have a feeling the white one has pockets. Uh, so this is obviously the 2022 version. The sleeves are really bulky and I kind of wish they had that little strap which holds them up, but alas, they do not. Um, and then lengthwise, again, it is of a maxi length, which just makes it super versatile. I wear things like this very frequently both pottering around the house and like I'd wear this if I was going to have a bit of a spa morning at Soho Farmhouse or shove something in my bag for popping on uh, to go around Dalesford after Pilates. How bougie my life sounds. <laughs> I promise I work really hard in between these lovely bits. Um, but yeah, this is 100% winner, 100% keeper, absolutely love it and uh, I hope it's not sold out because I know that so many of you will love this as well. I mean, how gorgeous. It's just so relaxed and yet so feminine at the same time. Love it. 
Okay, another shirt dress, similar vibes, not exactly the same. I added this to my basket thinking that it was going to be the same material as the last, like slightly thicker, more kind of linen cotton. This is not. It is actually made from Lensing Eco Vero, which a couple of months ago I'd have had no idea what that is. Um, but actually, I researched it when I was working with Nobody's Child because most of their people, well, a lot of their collection is made from Lensing Eco Vero, and it's a really sustainable fabric which is actually made using far less, uh, far less water and um, chemicals than viscose, for example. So it's a much more sustainable material, a lot more renewable. And this is also another really lovely easy to wear piece. Again, definitely one that I will be keeping, perfect for popping on over bikinis when you are on holiday, but also a really nice relaxed summer day dress. If you can wear dresses like this for work, I think it'd be a really nice relaxed work dress, dress down on Fridays, for example, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So the main detail being this little, sorry, it's quite bright, isn't it? little bow detail in the middle which really cinches the whole dress in to give you that shape. You can see my underwear underneath here, I'm wearing quite a luminous white bra, I should be wearing one that's a little bit closer to my skin colour. And it's got a little slit on the leg there which is really nice, gives it a very relaxed feel and that same kind of mid calf length. But a really nice lightweight material, so a perfect uh, everyday summer dress. Here we have got a very fun little play suit or jumpsuit and it's in the same fabric, the Monet fabric that I was uh, sharing at the beginning with the uh, halter neck dress. So this is a play suit. No, a jumpsuit. Jumpsuit is long, isn't it? And play suit is short. You've got these little pockets. It kind of looks, depending on how you're standing, I would say it kind of looks like a dress, which I absolutely love, but it is in fact a jumpsuit. I love the fact that you've got these big, these big deep pockets. I potentially might um, alter it and bring it up by a couple of centimetres on the shoulder. I think that would make it fit me a little bit better. But just again, amazing affordable wedding guest outfit option. Perfect if you prefer trousers to a dress. I'm going to try <laughs> with my belt. As with most of my outfits, I imagine it will probably look even better with <laughs> my Zimmerman belt. Uh, again, I'll leave the Amazon, or was it ASOS? Amazon version link down below, but I think with the price per wear with these belts, I would just highly recommend. I think that looks great. It really cinches you in. Another really lovely, slightly more dressy, gosh, H&M are just absolutely smashing it at the moment. This is a really, another really gorgeous piece to add to a summer wardrobe, perfect for a garden party. While I'm still in the jumpsuit, I'm just gonna quickly show you my non uh, try onable pieces. So as always, sorry to show you this, but I ordered a pack of their thongs because their thongs are absolutely incredible. As I mentioned earlier, I wear the black ones when I'm tanning um, and they're just literally almost exactly the same as Hanky Panky. They sit so flat to the skin. I just always add um, a couple of sets of H&M lace thongs to my order. This time I also added this little three pack. I just thought the florals were quite cute. And then I also added, I always check H&M Home as well because H&M Home has some lovely bits. And I saw that they had this tablecloth in this really gorgeous uh, green linen color. I think it could be quite blocky to just have this, but what I might do is layer this with my thyme tablecloths. I think that'll look absolutely gorgeous. And then I thought the napkins were really lovely as well. These are, they actually didn't have napkins in this colour. So what these are, are, um, what do you call it, tea towels, but they could easily just be a large napkin and that is what I'm planning on using them for. I think they'd be a little bit too light as a tea towel, so I ordered, I think, eight napkins, tea towels, and a big tablecloth. And then another type of thong as well, uh, which is just one of those kind of seamless, you're not gonna, you're not gonna see it, and it comes in pink, white, and sage green. Okay, firstly, I'm sorry because this is the only outfit that I just could not be bothered to steam. It's 
nearly six o'clock and I can't bother to do any more steaming. I did a lot this morning ahead of the shoot. So these next two items from H&M, again, just absolute winners. They, I think this is literally the same reel of fabric <laughs> as a tablecloth and the napkins, but they had it in a shirt um, and also trousers, which I'll be trying on next as the last piece. And then the trousers that I'm wearing here are surprisingly not that see-through. I thought they would be. Um, they are a linen blend, so I'm guessing they're a cotton and linen blend. Considering I've not steamed them, they're not too creased, which is very, very promising. I love wearing trousers like this on holiday. I don't tend to wear trousers in the UK. I'd rather just stick on a dress. Um, but sometimes, depending on where you're going, like if you're going somewhere where you're not sure, you know, just sometimes culturally i'd rather be obviously erring on the side of more respectful than if i'm unsure so i just often find myself wearing trousers more when i'm abroad and lightweight white linen cotton blend ones are perfection so i love this outfit uh, i will probably no doubt end up gardening it in this shirt most definitely um but also, again, great for those really warm days where you just want to not have the sun glaring on your skin so much. Great to pop over the shoulders, nice and breathable. And I love this colour combination. Let's bring you down, show you the whole look. Obviously, you could wear the shirt normally, um, but I find it more flattering when it's cinched in around the waist, showing off, um, making you look a little bit more leg elongated. And the trousers are just really nice and simple, uh, high-waisted trousers with a zip closure, and they kind of not really flare but they're just what do you call it just wi wide leg trousers all the way down and now essentially we have swapped over the outfit i have gone for a white cottony shirt and then the sage green trousers which i need to just do up the bow so these ones are a little bit more relaxed than the white pair they have got an elasticated waistband a drawstring around the waist um, and then the pockets. These are pretty much, they will pretty much end up being like my house trousers on evenings like this, for example. I've done a shoot, I've done a whole shoot day and I just want to get in the kitchen or get into the garden, snuggle up on the sofa with the dogs, maybe do a bit of editing and sometimes I just want to wear a pair of trousers but I don't want Okay, tell me if anyone else feels this way, but like the hassle of putting on a pair of leggings because they're tight, it's quite a hassle, <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes I just want something loose and comfortable. So I thought these were absolutely perfect for that. I love the colour, it's very fresh. Um, and then the blouse is actually not an H&M linen, it's a cotton blouse and it's from Amazon. It's really lovely actually, it's got a kind of um, raw texture to the fabric if you can see so it looks a little bit striped uh, a, li a little bit like calico-esque so a big fan of this i love the color combination i'm going to stay in this outfit for the rest of the evening charlie's cooking dinner and i've got a lot of tidying up to do not just the h&m bits but also all the dresses all the handbags all the accessories from the shoot today so darlings I'm going to bid you farewell because I'm going to be a busy bee, I'm going to listen to a podcast and just have like a mega tidy session. I also think it's going to be sunny for the next few days and I hate tidying inside when I could be uh, pottering about in the garden. So yeah, going to have a productive evening. What's left of it. So darlings, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm sure it's been a mega long one. So um, please leave the word glow as in... What a glow you have from your tan, Josie. <laughs> Leave that in the description box, uh, the word glow, if you got to the very end. My darlings, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.